All right, hi, this is uh, Chandler. I'm gonna do a tutorial today on how to install Eclipse IDE for the Macintosh. I was in my uh, Java programming class today and a lot of freshmen are asking how to do it. So um, I'm gonna do a tutorial on it. Seems like a good tutorial to do. So the first thing I'm doing, as you can see, I'm on google.com, just type Eclipse. And the first link that should come up is eclipse.org home and we're going to click on that and on the Eclipse website there's actually a lot of good resources tutorials plugins all this stuff but what we're going to do is click on downloads and this is where most people are having a problem as you can see there's quite a few different ones you can download you can get Eclipse for C++ developers for PHP and basically the difference is the C++ is ready to go with the C++ plugin, same with the PHP, and when you download it and install it, it's ready to go for those. You know, the most default one you can get is either if you're a Java developer, you can grab that guy, or I would just recommend getting Eclipse Classic 3.6.0, which is the current one, but just Eclipse Classic. So that's what we're going to get today. If, you're, if you need a C++ plugin, you can get a Classic and then install a plugin for it. If you need a Java plugin, you can get Classic, install that, etc. So Classic's really the best way to go because if you need anything else for it, you always can download it later. So I'm running a Mac, and because of that, it brings up Mac 64-bit or 32-bit operating systems. If you're running on Linux or Windows, you can just click up here and select those. Um, they should already be selected for your platform that you're currently running. Make sure you download the right one for your operating system. If you're confused on that, I'm not going to tell you how to figure it out. Go to Google and search for what operating system I have and enter your computer specs, etc. and figure out if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit. If you're unsure, I would just go 32, but I know I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm gonna click that. It brings up the next download page. It um, tells me I should download it from Georgia Tech because it's the closest server that it's on. If you wanna use a different one, do that, but we're just gonna go with what they said. So it brings up my download, save file, etc. and then it starts downloading. It's 170 megs. Um, I mean, it's pretty fast, but I already downloaded it, so we're not going to watch it download. So after you download it, it should be in your downloads folder right here, eclipsetar.gz. And most zip programs may or may not open that, but if since you're running on a Mac, you have the benefit of having a Linux operating system. So we're going to go down here. I have my terminal in my favorites bar, but if you don't, if your terminal's not down there, you need to go to your applications and click on terminal, it's utilities, terminal right here, okay? Double click that, <clears throat> and if you've never used this before, well, you're gonna get a quick crash course today. So we're first gonna change directory to our downloads folder, and inside our downloads folder, we can see the Eclipse download right here, the tar file. And the best way to do it is we're going to use a quick command and it's tar-xbf and then we're going to do the eclipse, oops, the eclipse file. And that unzips the entire eclipse file into the current directory. And then when we do an ls on that, we can see we have a directory called eclipse right here. Done. And then if we change directory to that, we have all of our Eclipse installs right there. So now we're done with the terminal. And if we go back to our downloads folder under the finder, we'll see a new folder called Eclipse. And that's basically all you have to do. Eclipse, when it unpackages this tar file, it's ready to go. It's installed wherever you unpackage it. I wouldn't recommend leaving it in your downloads folder. I, I would move it to your applications folder. And as you can see in my application folder, I already have an Eclipse right here. So I'm not going to drop this one in two because it'll get confused. So um, that's all you have to do. And then you double click on this Eclipse. It says you download it from the internet. And then it loads Eclipse Helios. Um, one other thing, if you've never used Eclipse before, there's going to be this mysterious window that pops up that says Workspace Launcher. The workspace is basically where you keep all your, where you can keep all your projects your Java projects, whatever projects you want to use, etc. And um, 
yeah, so I, I have mine as Documents Workspace. So when I select OK, it's going to load all my projects out of that workspace. And if we go to Window, Open, Perspective, Java. And there you go. You're ready to go. You can make a Java projects. You can do whatever you want now. So everything's there. And, you're, and that is basically how you install Eclipse.